What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to recap the stocks that I'm watching and I'm buying it if you're watching this tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Make sure you guys check out the first link down below. It'll give you to access to our free chat room. All you have to do is have a Discord account and make sure you leave a big like on the video for more free content. 20 seconds ago, 30 seconds ago, I bought 15 shares of Alibaba at the average price of 26.31, 26.32. We're up 15 cents. That's what I'm playing. I'm waiting for uh, a bounce to 280. That's where I'd probably take my profit. And I'd cut my loss right under the the EMA, right around the 270, what is this, three three level? Right around there is where I take, uh, take a small L. Nothing too big on the position size. But even, what is it, uh, it's like an hour and 10 minutes left until the market closes. Hopefully right now we retest at least the 277.50, which was that midday resistance. Um, but that's my plan for Alibaba. SNDL, which, as well, we bought 500 shares like a minute ago. We have a average price of 28.03. It's just completely dead, been flat on this level. To my understanding, based on its previous performance, it cannot hold its spikes. It didn't hold the spike here to 85, which was our price target. We have a price target in our chat room of $1 uh, overall in the long term. But right now, I'm just playing a small spike. So even if we get above 40s, maybe 35, that's a spike that I'd probably sell into. And based off its previous history, I don't think it's gonna hold any other spike and possibly come back down, enabling me to just take my profit and buy, rebuy again and just hold long term. Another one that I'm eyeing, that I'm waiting for it to pull back just a little bit, maybe towards the SMA on the four hour or on the one hour, is right around the eight dollar mark. I think nine dollar mark's a little too high for me right now, so I'm gonna pass on that. Apple still holding our five shares. Uh, what are we at break even? What is this? One fifteen ninety five. Uh, we're almost at break even. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna swing the um, swing the shares, but my main priority has been right now just focusing on Alibaba. That's it for my play for this one. Tesla, of course, making new highs probably as we speak. Haven't traded it, but I'm gonna wait for this to pull back because on the four hour guys, if you guys ask me, this looks like Neo when it was just riding its the EMA beautifully on top, push pulling down, retesting, finding support, making new highs. And then see how, see if we can find this right here. Just look at this rally from 29s all the way to the 43s. That's why I was saying, guys, don't be surprised if Tesla hits 600 very, very shortly, very fast. Or we're just making new highs as we probably, as we're speaking, we're going to make new highs. By the end of this video, there's probably going to be a new high. As we head into the close, there's an hour, an hour or so left into the market close. Um, another ticker was work. Slack. Um, it had a news cut us out. I think. Let me see if this to make sure. Um, Salesforce. The Salesforce news. I don't find the chart too appealing to me. Too interesting. Um, definitely, it's a lot of momentum and just the fact that it came from the 29th, completely dead. It's not a good feeling for me. But this was. It made the news today. Uh, this P turns another one that I've been waiting for it to come down. Completely dead as well. It needs more momentum more volume in order for me to buy but i think 106 is a little too high for me to buy i'd wait for the 100 dollars mark um xpev another one on the four hour that i'm waiting to pull back hopefully to at least 50s the 50 dollars mark would probably be a good level to dip by this assuming it holds it's up trend here as you can see these amazing ascending triangles breaking past the previous resistance and using that resistance in this case 40 dollars mark as its support so if it possibly can hold at least 56, I'll buy some shares there. And then if it continues to dip, I'll add some shares at 50 and I'll just hold for one, two weeks or so. Um, Netflix, still waiting for this one to make a move down. At least we could dip by a support at around 460s. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a buyer around, around the 490 level. On um, the one minute, it's very, very choppy. Yes, it's probably gonna retest its, its um, resistance right around the 485 but I'm not a buyer on there so that's pretty much it for my positions nothing um, too big share wise the positions were once again Alibaba which right now an hour left hopefully we retest um, that resistance here maybe possibly 279s if that's too much to ask for SNDL um, another one that I'm holding and Apple that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys leave a like. Once again, check out the first thing down below for our free chat room, and I will see you guys on Friday. Take care, guys.